as duracetal appliances. Use the doctor's impression to make a stone model. Next, make a duplicate of the model in duracetal expansion stone. Waxing. Begin waxing on the expansion model. We are using wax dummy teeth. You can hand wax them, but this is much easier. We have placed our dummy teeth, rests, and have waxed our major connector. Wax up your clasps. Use 12 gauge sprue wax to create the clasps. However, be careful not to place too deep into the undercut. It would be wise to survey before waxing. Acetyl can go into a much deeper undercut than metal. However, if there is an extreme undercut, you will have to design appropriately. Spruing. Use 12 gauge sprue wax to create the sprue. Trim down so it is no longer than three millimeters. Next, attach the stone tool to the sprue. The stone tool is an exact duplicate of the tip of the hot shot gun. Place the duracetal expansion stone solid model on the duracetal tray clay. It may be necessary to mound up the tray clay in order for the model to sit properly in the ring. The model needs to sit in the center of the ring. Place ring on the tray clay base. Look at the ring from the side. The stone tool should be even with the top of the ring. Place a heavy coating of petroleum jelly on the inside of the ring. If there is not an extremely heavy coating, the stone will be very difficult to remove from the ring. Using duracetal investing stone, fill the ring until the stone touches the bottom of the stone tool. Soak the model in water before investing. This will help to avoid bubbles. If the model does not want to stick to the tray clay, place one finger on the top of the stone tool to stabilize while the stone is being poured. When the stone is set, remove stone tool. The stone should set in approximately 45 minutes, at which point remove the tray clay base and stone tool. You will notice now how the gun tip will have a place to engage. Place the ring in boiling water, sprue side down, to allow wax to melt and flow out. It should be left in the boiling water for 10 minutes. Remove from boiling water and place in an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. This will make the ring hot so that duracetal material will flow well. The ring should be in the warming oven for at least 8 minutes before time of injection. Fill the cup provided with duracetal up to the 10 milliliter line or use a duracetal single shot. Pour material into the hot shot gun using the funnel provided. After cooling, tap stone out of the ring and break stone away from partial. It will be difficult to remove the stone if there was not the proper amount of petroleum jelly placed on the ring. Finishing. From the Duracetal finishing kit, use the diamond disc to remove the sprue. Once the contouring is to your satisfaction, it is now time to polish. Polish the appliance with Duracetal polish and or Duracetal shine. These brushes are advertised as being able to polish acrylics and composites. Therefore, they have proven to have worked very well on Duracetal. For more information, please contact Cosmetic Dental Materials.